Hey guys, what's going on? Thank you so much for stopping by for another episode of Low Nose. This is a place where we help content creators just like you and just like us through audio, video, and text. So if you already haven't, hit that subscribe and bell button. And if you feel that this video is helpful, you find a lot of value in it, then hit that like button. And if not, if you just hate puppies and cats and all things good, then hit the dislike, whatever. I'm not gonna judge. I just need to know which videos are helping you or not. Okay, guys, so today I'm with my good friend, Eric, uh, and we are both content creators, right? I'm doing my low nose. I'm trying to tra transition to low nose media. Spoilers. Uh, and Eric, what are you doing right now? Um, currently on pretty much every social media platform, but only focusing on Instagram and IGTV. Right. And what's the name of your channel? Paper Plate Food. Paper Plate Foods. Okay, so you are you have a channel on YouTube. Yep. Focusing on Instagram. You've done some stuff on Facebook. Pre um, I'm using... Um, Facebook and Twitter is just basically reposting the stuff that I'm putting on Instagram. There's really no unique, different content on Facebook or Twitter. It's I'm just sharing what I create on Instagram to those platforms. So I, I, I want to, want, number one, lock down the name so right, no one right. else can take my name. Absolutely. Um, and two, just be available on all the different platforms. Again, not focusing on those only on Instagram and IGTV that just came out. Right, right. Um, so what do you feel right now are your strengths for where you're... You're doing most of your stuff. Well, right now, currently, I just started uh, the keto diet. Yeah. Okay. Um, and right now, the the community and the people, there's a it's a very trendy diet going on right now. And um, I've been on it for two weeks, and it's been blowing up my Instagram. It's That's my wow, focus okay. on now. So okay. I'm creating content around that niche, the, the keto diet niche, and it's been blowing up. And it's... Um, Part of that is creating really good content, stuff that people uh, find beneficial for them, uh, people that are, are on the diet as well, yeah. and even for people that are just looking for some healthier, healthier options or low-carb options. So the content creation specifically targeted around a niche. That's what I'm focusing on. Okay. And is keto trending right now with a moment? Oh, yeah. Or, or there's is. just a continuous trend for keto? Yeah. it's the There's two diets. There's the keto, then there's, uh, there's one more. I can't remember the name off the top of my head. Um, the paleo, the paleo okay, diet. Right. Those are two ones that are, are trending right now. Right. There's the, it's Everybody's on it. Okay. So um, I saw it from a friend had lost a ton of weight that I knew. And I was like, you know what, let me try it out. And as soon as I started moving away, because the paper plate food is really for home cooks like myself. Right. And I started moving away from um, the home cooking to more to the keto. And I saw... My followers go up, the engagement go up, you know, people commenting and liking yeah. just all shot up as soon as I switched over to that and using hashtags to to for people that can discover me naturally, organically. Right. And I just saw it explode. OK, so where is that explosion happening for you on on in Instagram. on Instagram? Yeah. So you've got your YouTube channel. Um, Paper plate food. How yeah. many subscribers do you have right now on uh, YouTube? 21, 22, something like that. Okay. Um, obviously, it's, it's not monetized no, at all. No. Um, you, but how many followers do you have on Instagram? 3,200. 3,200. Big, big, yeah. big difference. So, obviously, where you're, so like, let's just say if you are trying to do some kind of content creation and maybe you're struggling with YouTube, well, maybe it's not, maybe it's not you. Maybe it's just a platform that you're using. Maybe you just make T2 uh, kind of like, condense everything to a size that's maybe like easier digestible where people just kind of like get what you're trying to do and absorb it immediately not, not yeah. so much like a long format where youtube may be yeah what i what i again my um original idea was to focus on because i had that shiny object syndrome right where you see something and you kind of just a new thing came out or a new um way to make money or whatever the case might be and you just you don't focus on what you're doing and you just kind of going off on different right, paths. Right. So I definitely have that. So I'm doing my best now to yeah. try to focus and keep my focus on the Instagram. Um, with the YouTube channel, I was just trying and I'm still doing, trying to uh, build a library um, of maybe like 50 videos before I even right, right. push that at all. Cause again, that's not my focus. Right. Um, and now that IGT, T, IGTV came out, it's really not going to be a focus of mine. You too. I, I feel, yeah, I feel like you have to really focus on one thing mm -hmm. um, because you kind of lose track of where you're at and what you're good at. Right. And for me, um, so so pause on that. Yeah. Keep that in mind for a lot of people who are tr who are currently doing content creation or trying to get into it. 
Definitely. Like a lot of people will argue against and for, but you, if you have a niche, if you have something you want to focus on, you want to focus on that. Otherwise, you're just spreading yourself way too thin yeah. and you're hitting everybody and nobody. Yeah. And if you have the time, which I don't have the time, right. you know, definitely you, you could spread yourself a little bit better than I did. But for me, time wise, Instagram was the right platform for me. OK, because YouTube, I feel like you need to be creating good. Right. Some people create content for YouTube that is just they'll record themselves in a, in a video and really not give the viewer anything of value. Right. But really good content creation. It needs to almost be done daily True. or three times a week. I don't have that kind of time to right. create that type of content. So for me, Instagram was the right amount of, of content creation uh, and time and effort um, for me. Like that formula worked better for me on Instagram than it right. does on YouTube. Maybe in the future, if I get fired from my job, mm -hmm. I told you that before. If I get fired from my job, I could focus three months right. on uh, strictly making videos for YouTube. But right now, with my life, job, Instagram for me works best for my content. Okay. So, what about Facebook? Are you doing anything on Facebook? Absolutely not. Nothing at I all. I don't. Me personally, I don't believe that you can grow on Facebook organically. Okay. Um, unless you're paying for it or you have a, a previous page that has lots of followers that you can share a, a new page with. Yeah. But on Facebook, I find it to be extremely difficult to grow. Now I've had other accounts, uh, other content pages that I've had on Facebook, mm -hmm. which I've spent money on ads, which it did definitely grew the page. Right. But again, I don't want to be spending money um, on something um, that as soon as I turn off, it's dead. True. You know, yeah. so there's no, there was no organic growth. Even after I had uh, 10,000 followers on a, right. on a Facebook page and after I turned it off and continued putting content, it, the page it died. died. So I feel on Facebook, you need to have, you need to pay money to, right. to grow where right. on Instagram, it's very easy to grow organically. You're able to use hashtags. Um, people don't share as much mm -hmm. uh, on, on Instagram, but you're able to engage people through DMS, through comments. And I feel that's the way to grow. And for me, Facebook does not give you at all that ability. Right, right. Okay, so let me let me flip things um, on the other side. So on my channel, Low Nose, um, YouTube is working great for me. Mm -hmm. I've got over uh, 4,000, I think I've got like 4,400 subscribers uh, right now. Uh, some videos are slow, some videos are exploding. Um, I'm able to monetize my videos, so there's some kind of income coming from that. Uh, it's gotten to the point where companies are reaching out to me to kind of re re review products for them. Um, but as far as anything happening for me on the Instagram side, it's a dead duck. Yeah, like, but, yeah, I think I have maybe like 73 followers on Instagram. See, I think the, the difference is, again, your niche. Yep. So my niche is a very visual niche, um, which works well on Instagram. Your niche is a more technical um, it's a long form type of, uh, of, a, a video. So you have to be able to show requirements, specs, yeah. you know, sh see how it works, um, do reviews. And it's, it's a lot, it's a lot longer mm -hmm. of a, a video versus Instagram. I could just throw a photo on there with a caption with a recipe. And, and then the person I viewed that got everything they needed mm -hmm. from a photo and a caption. Yeah. You couldn't do that. No, you know, you need to, you know, you're, you're, how about you're trying to show a product that's worth 300,000, $5,000, um, on a picture, people are not going to really get to understand the, the, why is it worth that much money? You need to explain it, show oh. them all the details. Okay. So, so you can't do it on Instagram. Right. right. So let's, let's get to the nitty, nitty gritty of why we're together. How do we make money on social media when it comes to me, as far as YouTube, maybe sometime during down the line on Instagram, how can you make money on Instagram and maybe down the line on YouTube? So let's let's just say I want to stick with Instagram for a bit, right? Um, is there any way that I can use Instagram right now to drive traffic to my YouTube channel? Whether it's probably trying to get people to engage with me as a person of what's happening behind the scenes, or just kind of creating things like, hey, this is what I do now. If you want to see more, check out my YouTube channel. And I know a lot of times people don't they don't like to hop between platforms, and that's exactly what it is. People that are on Instagram want to stay on Instagram, right? They don't want to go to your website, they don't want to go to YouTube, yeah. they don't want to go to your blog, they don't want to uh, go to another platform. They want, the People on Instagram want to stay on Instagram, and I've found that to be 100% true. So I have 3,200 followers. 
I get roughly about 2,000 visits a week wow. on my profile, yeah. which previously had my YouTube channel on there, and that did diddly squat, wow. zero. So uh, for me, it um, the link in the bio um, should be used either to sell something. Um, on your Instagram. Yeah, on your Instagram. I mean, um, if, if it's about making money, there's a couple things you can do. Um, in regards to that link or driving mm -hmm. traffic to somewhere that you want someone to do or, uh, you know, do something uh, for you. Like your example was YouTube. For me, it didn't work Yeah. because taking them off the platform they're on just didn't make any sense. Now, if they're a follower of yours and they're interested in what you're doing, um, that link in the bio should, should somewhat relate to that. So if I'm currently pushing this keto diet and I'm putting out recipes, I'm putting out content in regards to that, that link in my bio should somewhat be related to it. So um, some people know about ClickBank. Mm -hmm. On ClickBank, they have certain digital products that you can yeah. sell that it could be like uh, the 30-day keto diet right, beginner's right, guide right, or something right. like and, that. And ClickBank doesn't just offer diets. It's other things as well. So many different things. Okay. Uh, mostly digital products, some physical that you could actually purchase. Right. Um, so ClickBank is another way that you could probably monetize. So or